Okay. Assalamualaikum uh, and a very good morning to everyone. So today um, our uh, our group will discuss about the poem for our group let's uh, let's discussion poetic society. So before we start, uh, we would like to introduce ourselves. So first, my name Muhammad Ali Afiq Bilamli. My matrix number two zero four one five seven. So I I would like to other members to introduce uh, themselves. Okay, I'll start first. My name is Akma Fikri bin Azman. My matrix number is two zero zero nine four six. My name is Nurin Sabrina Al Bakri binti Shari Al Bakri. My matrix number is two zero four one seventy four. Uh, my name is Auli Nazira binti Mama Fadzil and my matrix number is 200234. Um, um, my, my name, name is... <coughs> uh, my name is Mama Awas Akhidi Azari, my matrix number is 202459. Hi, my name is Lin Xiang Jun and my matrix number is 203104. Okay, so uh, so we will recite a poem that has been done by our group, uh, group one. So the poem uh, title is Endless Love by Wise, Lim and Me Alif. So let me start first. <coughs> Environment, you inspire me to write. I love the way you breathing and living. Invading my mind day and through the night. Always dreaming about the thanksgiving. Let me compare you to a destroyed meal. You are more happy and more glorious. Set rain flood the great fields of April and the springtime and the Saturdays. How do I love you? Let me count the ways. I love your splendid air, tree, and water. Thinking of your parish tree set my days. My love for you is the shine sea water. I must away with a gloomy heart. Remember my coy words, whilst we are apart. Thank you. Yeah, so that's all from, that's a good one. So let's discuss our poem. So what you guys uh, can understand uh, from our poem. Yes. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go first. First of all, that was an amazing recitation. Uh, great job on making the poem, guys. So, um, from the first stanza, um, actually, I noticed that a few lines were highlighted. Can you explain about what they meant? Uh, the yellow one, right? Yeah, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah. So, Lim, you want to try? No, it should be wise to, to explain Ah, that. yeah. Sorry. Because the main writer is wise, so we should try. Well, wise, can you explain about the, the yellowish one? Okay. The, the yellow, yellow one uh, is uh, to uh, what we call uh, to make a poem more uh, uh, beautiful to read. Like, we have a destroyed meal and we just uh, add the set rain float in the great field of April, which is uh, the the last word is quite similar, right? Milk and uh, real. And the second one is also uh, the same. The springtime has the satellites. Oh, I did not. So, uh, uh, yeah, did, did not have a particular name. Okay. Um, so, moving on. 
so our our topic that we picked was environment right so the environment i thought for this you guys would go for like a pollution rule really negative you know but i can only see hints of that and most of it is actually the how you you guys explain more towards the beauty of nature which is a breath of fresh air uh, because when you think about environment and poetry you usually think of like pollution and really really negative stuff so it's it's a really good poem when you guys mix in the positive with the negatives it's nice thank you thank you thank you i like to add as well like i noticed for every stanza you always try to make the first and the first and the third and the second and the fourth line to rhyme and it worked out very well so it's a good it's a good uh, you guys have a good a broad word that I, like yeah you guys know how to use words <laughs> and also <clears throat> i really love the second stanza because it's it makes you really think like who would have thought to compare nature with a destroy meal it's a refreshing way to see things ani do you have something to say yeah um i do um i feel like you guys touch the issue very sub very subtle um like um the uh, the second last stanza you mentioned about the parish tree i imagine that it was about through the de deforestation and and it's very subtle but you know there there's an impact in there and i quite like that actually and may i know what what is the meaning of sartorius uh sartorius is uh, uh the type of bone the name type of bone actually ah okay okay so uh, what inspired you guys to write this poem okay. what is the main what? inspiration hello can you hear me <laughs> okay i feel like i'm quite lagging okay so for this this is endless love towards the nature uh, a person who loves the nature so i think uh, always has been in canada <laughs> so he he loved the nature in Canada maybe so when he 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 tried to write he write he put himself like a Canadian uh because like you see the and uh he was dreaming the environment he, he looks the environment like every day he is celebrating Thanksgiving ceremony uh okay so where where uh this uh maybe he loved the nature in the canada so it, it inspired uwais to write is it is it uwais yeah yeah very true <laughs> i am very inspired by the nature from the canada and actually uh uh the the last sentence about the the thanksgiving uh, is about uh, we uh celebrate the nature that uh still has uh which is uh, not destroyed completely yet uh this is from yes home. moreover uh canada's deforestation at the early 1990s was very high high in rate but nowadays uh it has uh been less than 0.02 percent so that's that's a good thing about the canada uh policy in maintaining the environment Yeah, I do feel like Europe. Sorry, do you want to go first? No, no, oh, no. It's okay. okay. I just want to say I. I, I do. Feel... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh, I'll go first. I do feel like Europe's policy is much more um, how do you say strict, and the public accepts it, and they are willing to make a change for the nature, um, compared to these like developing countries or. most countries in asia so yeah um alif since you had a hand in making the poem could you tell me your favorite part 
Okay, uh, for my favorite part. Um, okay, uh, actually, I love. Uh, I love the way you breathing and living, invading my mind day and through the night. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite line. Because of you know, uh, since I'm a nature person, so yeah, I always love to. <laughs> I love to uh, think about our nature. You know, uh, nowadays we always see uh, about deforestation, uh, something that that disturb our environment. So that's make uh, that's making me so angry. So yeah. Uh, so for this part, I tend to make people more appreciate about our nature. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the question. I like that. Uh, could you scroll down so you can see the other half of the poem? Um, sure, I'd sure. like to ask, since I like, I really like this poem, but I want to ask, I don't quite get the message that you're trying to send since you're a bit more to the positive side because like I only said before, there are hints of the negative like the like pollution and everything but then in this case it seems like you're more towards the how much you love nature so i want to ask what message are you trying to give off to the reader uh, for this uh, you can imagine a, a kid a person who since he, he uh, the person he, during, during his childhood loves love love the nature and when he grows up and he see the uh, all the trees have been perished destruction occur and this has uh, disheartened him uh, make him feel very gloomy uh, have a gloomy feeling gives the gloomy feeling at towards the end of the poem then um, but the one thing that he can remember is that uh, like the coin word coin words means like any like playful child child childish uh, words that it he has interacted with the nature and but they have to be uh, far apart due to the destruction due to the deforestation all towards the nature so uh, this is about how the revolution uh, and the, the changes that we, are, we want to show through um, when uh, we have something then we lost something the, uh, so that's the message we want to deliver Yeah, I do get it. It's like, you know, I see it as the nature as this light and then slowly as the um, po poem is ending, it's like the light is steaming, right? That's a really, really amazing concept. I, it never crossed my mind about that. Mm -hmm. so, Actually, why? since you were the main writer, I just wanted to ask you one last question. So now yeah. I must away with a gloomy heart. Uh, what do you mean by that? Do you mean like it's because the nature is already so bad and so polluted? Yes. Uh, you have to go away or what? Because uh, the nature is getting uh, bad. Actually, days by days, the factories and the uh, uh, economy in the country is uh, try to like uh, perish the trees and uh, make a more pollution so that's uh, at the end of the poem the i feel like uh, the a little set about how the environments nowadays that's my thank you okay so you were very emotional during that huh so right. great great poem uh, as usual so i'll i leave it up to akuma to end the session yes yeah, so I'd like to wrap up this discussion for today. And if any one of you have any last word to say before uh, I officially end this discussion. Ah, yes, I do. So as a model of this poem, so we have to love the nature. We have to try to conserve the nature as we can do like a simple thing like by reduce the plastic, the use of plastics, or try to plant some trees surrounding your house area or anything, just to support the nature. So that uh, that's all from me. Okay, uh, so that is all from our group.
So thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank, thank you guys. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.